What's up dudes, Max here. Welcome back to the Marvel Legacy. Today we're going to be playing one of my favorite fighting games of all time, and my number one title in the entirety of the Versus series, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. From everything that was learned from the previous games going forward, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 took everything that was awesome about X-Men vs. Street Fighter, everything we loved about X-Men, Children the Atom, and Marvel Super Heroes, and smashed it into one game while still taking the assist as a mechanic and giving the player a ton of options with it. There are several characters in the game that are limited to just assists, and you could use those assists only a certain number of time, which is something I like. One thing later in the Versus series that I wasn't a huge fan of was the fact that it felt like the later versions had so much of the assists doing the work for you that it didn't seem like you were doing a lot of the fighting yourself. And outside of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite that's gonna be coming out, this game was the last two versus two Marvel vs. Capcom. And there's a ton of other stuff I love about it. The roster is amazing for how small it is. The stages and art direction are quite literally the epitome of the Versus series, in my opinion, as well as 90s Capcom fighting games. So with that being said, enjoy it. This is one of my favorite games of all time, Marvel vs. Capcom, the first one. I'm thinking we're gonna play characters that are obviously not in Marvel Infinite and a, a couple of characters in this game that absolutely should be in Marvel Infinite, even though a lot of, a lot of this roster is actually kind of in there. Um, this guy, and this fucking guy. Give me my Colossus assist. Give me that shit. These fucking guys are stupid fucking fun. I just want Jin to be in a game with this big ass robot. I just want that to be a thing, man. Fight! Lordia! Oh, Captain Kale! Bring out the baby! Wolverine, you gonna do anything? I don't, I don't think that actually combos. Ow. That did so much damage. Capcom, that did so much damage. Light him up! Why don't I get the old ball again? This is such cool, imaginative stuff they did with Jin. I had no idea who Jin or Captain Commando was. And then I ended up loving these characters after this game. I was just like, wow, where where did they come from? And then you learn that Captain Commando was from a classic beat-em-up. Oh my god, I got Thor. And uh and Jin was from this weird mech game we called Cyberbots. It was like, what Ready. the fuck? Fight! I got him. Landing a landing an air combo with this guy is kind of hard. Right, thanks, Thor. Thank you very very much, Thor. Actually, got help there. Oh God. That's not good. No, nothing good. Thunder strike. And Morgan's such a bitch in this game, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, the ninja got her. Oh, I think I guard crushed. Oh, there we go. Crazy horse shit. God damn, these characters are so sick looking. Captain Commando is so sick looking. Great leaders can't afford to lose. Buy Capcom products. 
I'm actually gonna leave it on random assist. It'll make it hard for, um, to connect combos with these guys, but at least it'll give us some different stuff to look at. Feed the fish! That's right, he's got this weird ass super. Here, let's do this. Oh, Mega Man, let me do it, dickhead! Now take this. Oh, damn it, I wanted to get the, uh, the body wash. Damn it, man. That's unblockable. That's the thing about that super. Dude, you're being a fucking yes, man. And I'm dead. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I gotta pick in, uh, let's put in Psylocke, and I might actually be able to land a couple of these supers. And Mega Man sounds like a hella girl in this game. Pick the alternate colors. It should be Psylocke. No! Medium Kick isn't Psylocke? Oh my god, it's gotta be Medium Punch. Holy crap, I got Storm. She's like one of the worst ones. Ready. Fight! Mega Man just get grabbed by something, dickhead! The eternal problem with Marvel vs. Capcom AI. It's impossible to open them up until they just let themselves hit be hit. Oh my god, Cap, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna fucking hurt you, dude. Exactly what I want. Mega Man, I hate you so much in this game. You block everything. Go. Nice backdashing, Ryu. Oh my god, landing this, landing this shit is impossible. There we go, oh my god, dude. Ugh, old MVC AI. Awful. Murder him. Execution commencing. Yeah, Jin is just a hype as fuck character. He screams like crazy. Does all this insane bullshit with his giant robot. Like, he's just super fun. Ready. Fight! Oh, 
You're yeah, all oh, the Hulk got fucked up. I'm about to get fucked up. Oh god, might be my opportunity to land this shit. There we go! Oh yeah! One of the weirdest throws in the game, because it's a physical hit. It's like it's not an actual throw. Bam! There we go. If you land the character when they kick in, they essentially get knocked down, like a hard knockdown on the ground, and you can get a free super. And essentially just juggle them into super, into super, into super. Yeah. Pretty dope. Fuck, I got an insulter. That's fine. He's good. Ready. Fight! Oh, really, dickhead. Funny thing about this game, it almost has no block stun on the ground. Like, I'm sorry, after a jump attack, you have like no block stun to work with in the air. Really weird. Nope. I'll take it. And you get a, you can get a launcher after this. Holy fuck, I think I'm dead. Oh my god. Okay. I'm spin. Yeah, so, uh, this thing thing. Oh my god! Jin is actually a, uh, a charge character. And you're dead, Geef. Lord, your punch! Jin, win. Secret assists? I think I know one. I think I know one. I'll try to grab one right now. No, it's Unknown Soldier. Shit, I got him again. I thought it was Heavy Punch, Heavy Kick. There is a way to get uh, Sentinel. You can get Shadow. Uh, stuff like that. Fight! Nice. Wow. He jumped right over all my horse shit. Look at this guy. Oh, it fucked it up. Wow. Wow, really? See, no, uh, that was a good example of there's no hit stun on, or block stun, when you, when you have a jump and attack. It's really weird. First pitch to hit. Rider would be going for orbs at every single moment right here. If, if it was a person. Oh shit, didn't bring in the team super. 
And then, yeah, the, the problem with the computer in this game is that if you do full screen supers, they just get hit by them. But if you actually try to go for combos, they don't get hit by them. They just block everything. Yeah, how cool would it be if there was a Capcom Classics pack in Marvel Infinite? And had, like, these guys in here. I can't believe I've gotten Unhone Soldier three times now. And I haven't even fucking... Son of a bitch. Ready. Fight! Oh, Spider-Man's such a butthead in this game. He just avoids everything. Look at this shit. Come back to the ground, asshole. Nice. That's a lot of damage, too. God, just block everything, why don't you, Chun-Li? Works for me. Really, Spider-Man, you yuts? And you're dead. Oh, El Capitan Sword. Doctor Wiley running around in the background being a dickhead. Oh, I got Michelle Hart. That's actually pretty good for this fight. So, with certain characters, this fight is easy. With other characters, it actually can be kind of hard. You have to block a lot. Okay, with Cap, it's actually pretty easy. He's got enough stun in his moves. Behold my mighty hand. No one is safe. No one is safe. Oh, that's free super. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a lot of damage, yeah. I reject your this is bad. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so sick, and Xavier's on the ground, fucked up. I, I, I kind of lost interest in the X-Men when, uh, I wasn't into it for super long, I got past, like, issue 25. I never got to the arc where, like, Magneto and, and Xavier, like, combined to make Onslaught or some shit. I never, I never understood what the fuck is this, what is going on, it's sick. So yeah, Jin is remembered as a war hero, because it's believed that he sacrificed himself to, uh, to save everybody. So sick! <laughs> it's so sick! <laughs> well, there we go. That was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, in my opinion, the best Marvel vs. Capcom game. Crazy gameplay. A lot of fun. It's accessible, it's nuts. Uh, one of the first times assists were actually really good, but they limit the assist usage, which I'm okay with. I think that was actually a good idea, that the more powerful the assist, the limited amount of options you would have, like you couldn't actually use it a ton. This is cool, it just shows all the assist artwork. And Jubilee, god dude, Jubilee would such, be such a cool character. <laughs> Iceman drops Juggernaut. You are in fair. This, like, this, this ending is so Capcom to me, it's, it's, this ending, like,
this ending in like Pocket Fighter represents so much of what I loved about Capcom back in the day. It's like they love their characters and they love to show them off, you know? And it's like the exact opposite of what it seems to be with a lot of their games now. Like they don't know what to do with their characters anymore. Game over. Especially the older ones. Fuck, Marvel 1 is so good. <laughs>